Hey guys, it's that time of year again, richer, more nourishing, more replenishing, more moisturizing products to protect your drying out skin from the cold air. And so I, um, I actually have been kind of excited to um, do this blog uh, for months, like since probably last winter, um, where I kind of fell in love with facial oils. And so this year I've kind of taken that love and just like gone deep. Um, I probably have, no joke, 20, maybe 30 facial oils in the Skin Karma vault, um, at the bathroom sink, um, out in my office space. And I thought it would be really cool to just pull together a few of them that kind of stand out to me for whatever reason. So I have condensed that down from 20 to uh, six. And I'm going to take you through them. Um, let me just give you a quick run through of the facial oils I want to um, highlight today. And those would be the herbivore. I mean, how gorgeous is this? The herbivore uh, Phoenix and its star ingredient is sea buckthorn oil and i believe that's where that orange um, deep orange like fire phoenix get it uh comes from so that is the first number two is from good molecules if you don't know good molecules you should check them out like they're what i call a democratic skincare brand like the ordinary and the inky list um all three offer generally uh, single note products like the Yankees turmeric cream, right? That's just like kind of it. Um, or the Ordinary's Squalane. That product, I believe, um, only contains Squalane. And similarly, the Good Molecules Pure Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil contains rosehip seed oil, and that's it. Um, so cool brand they have some really interesting interesting products that aren't as straightforward as this one um and check them out again democratic democratically democratically priced this oil is ten dollars and i'm going to talk in a, uh, in a minute about the benefits of rosehip uh next is the bakuchiol booster by uh by B. i think that's how you pronounce it b-y-b-i um I forgot what it stands for. Something about Beauty Insiders. Beautiful Youth for Beauty Insiders, something like that. Uh, anyway, it's UK-based. I talked about this phenomenal uh, Bakuchiol and Squalane oil um, when I reviewed five uh, Bakuchiol products out of the dozen or so that are available worldwide right now. And I really love this oil. It's, it's simple. It's a great way to get um, Bakuchiol into your regimen. And uh, it's super nourishing. And of course, the Bakuchiol, you might know, is a retinol alternative. Um, next up is the, um, what is this called? Superfood, superfood Recovery Oil um, by Mimuna. Um, Mimuna is based in Morocco. And I love what they have done with argan oil. This product is phenomenal. Argan is a terrific nut oil, along with uh, almond oil. Really, really, really good for skin. Um, next, we have the Kiehl's uh, Cannabis Sativa Seed Herbal Concentrate. I am infatuated with the smell of this stuff, and I shouldn't be infatuated with the smell of anything because that means that there's fragrant components in there, and there are some fragrant components, components in this product, but the cannabis sativa seed oil content, that's also known as hemp oil, um, is the first ingredient. So I'm surmising that it's about 75% would be my rough guess. 75% um, of the formula. Really, really cool oil. And last, and I've talked about this product before when I reviewed Codex Beauty um, at, uh, as one of the brands that I love. This is one of my favorite brand discoveries of the year. Um, it's all clean, non-toxic, natural, organic, really well-formulated products. This product is exquisite. And you know what? I'm going to save best for last. So I'm going to talk about this one very last. But let's start with uh, the, uh, the herbivore 
or herbivore, still not sure how I want to pronounce it, or even how the brand pronounces it. Um, so the herbivore Phoenix facial oil is, uh, if I remember correctly, $88. Herbivore, if you're not aware, is a kind of clean luxury brand. Look at this oil. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. So you're gonna notice as I go through a lot of these oils, I'll kind of call them out. This one is, is, is not greasy. See, it kind of dries down fine, but it is one of the heavier of, um, heavier of the oils. It has a, I would say a mildly herbaceous scent to it. Um, so it contains rosehip seed oil, it contains meadow foam oil, it contains chia, and sea buckthorn, and sea buckthorn is the star ingredient, the star active or oil in this product. Um, sea buckthorn is, is loaded with vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin E. It also contains lycobene and uh, phenols, which are um, powerful antioxidants, and they're used for God knows whatever else, I believe. They're also, also antimicrobial, so they keep products uh, stabilized. Um, this is just a terrific oil. It's not, it's not overly complicated. I don't remember exactly how many ingredients were in it, maybe 10. None of the oils that I'm, the, the three most complex oils, obviously, the others are single note, would be these three. Um, and none of them contain any more than I would say 10 ingredients. Um, but this stuff's just amazing. You see it? I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It's a little on the pricier side, uh, but it's a clean formula. And sea buckthorn is phenomenal for skin. And the fact that it contains both sea buckthorn and both and uh, rosehip seed oil is a huge plus. So there are there are common oils that don't do much more for skin than I would say moisturize, replenish the moisture barrier. Um, they act in a, an occlusive fashion meaning that they uh, block uh, the evaporation of water and other oils from your skin by acting as a barrier in the very top, top surface layer. Um, but sea buckthorn and rosehip oil have additional anti-aging benefits in, um, on top of being antioxidants. Um, rosehip oil in particular in here and in the good molecules oil Rosehip seed oil has a multitude of anti-aging benefits to it. I believe it is proven to enhance elasticity um, in addition to providing skin with the benefits, the moisturizing, nourishing, and replenishing benefits of a facial oil. Of course, I'm like loading the back of this particular hand up with oils. It's just really, really good oil. Uh, the ordinary I believe the Inky List too, but the Ordinary definitely has a rosehip seed oil. Um, if budgets are tight and it's the holidays, I would honestly um, shoot for either the, the Good Molecules or the Ordinary's rosehip seed oil. You're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck. This is 10 bucks. Um, and again, it's, it's just a terrific antioxidant oil um, and anti-aging oil. Look at that, this, this hand. Um, I actually, when I apply a facial oil at night, I, uh, don't forget my neck. My neck would look much worse than it does already. Um, and I also apply the, the rest of it to the back of my hands because you want to like dry off your palms. And instead of drying off my palms on a towel, I, uh, usually just apply it to my arms and the back of my hands. And you can see, might as well get the best out of it. Um, next up is the Bacuchiol Booster from Bybee. Bibi, Bybee. I wish the brand would give me a quick shout out and tell me how to pronounce it so I don't keep getting it wrong. Uh, this is a 100% natural certified vegan and cruelty free oil. Um, again, it's got squalene and Bacuchiol. The level of Bacuchiol in this oil and the level of Bacuchiol in every single oil on the market, every single product on the market contains. 1% uh, of Bacuchiol, with the exception of Herbivore's Bacuchiol, which isn't this, um, but I've talked about that in the past. Herbivore's, Herbivore's Bacuchiol contains 4% uh, of the retinol alternative. This one, the Bacuchiol Booster, contains 1% and 99% squalene. So it's a super simple 
product. It's going to go on the back of the hand with the rest of the oils, I guess. Um, it's really silky. You can feel it. It's a bit thicker than, uh, than the other oils, and that's the squalane. Squalane derived from olives is a super thick oil. You see that? Uh, contains polyphenols, antioxidants, all kinds of good stuff for skin. Um, and if you want to, like I said, boost your anti-aging, you have the benefits of rosehip and you have the benefits of bakuchiol. Bakuchiol, believe it or not, has been proven to be as efficient and and uh, an anti-ager as retinol itself. I know that sounds kind of crazy and gimmicky. If you go to my blog, search Bakuchiol, go to my article on Bakuchiol, and you'll find the links to the um, the evidence, the results from the tests. Amazing product. How much did I say this was? It's like 16 bucks, I think. Um, love that stuff. It's kind of like lasted. It stayed in my regimen, you see? Ha! So next is the Mamuna. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly because it's the founder's grandmother's name. Her name was Lala Mimuna, and she was a Berber woman um, in Morocco. And actually, I uh, talk about this in my blog this week um, on SkinKarma.com that um, back in my days at Kiehl's, one of the last projects I worked on, so it was about 10 years ago now, was, um, was a, a, a range of products that had as their key ingredient argan oil and the argan oil that we had sourced was from um, the atlas mountain region of morocco where this oil is sourced and let me try it on the other hand the back of this hand when i was working at keels my friend charlotte used to joke with me all the time because she knew it would aggravate me <laughs> that Argan oil is the new olive oil. And of course, that's like a sacrilege for any Italian to believe. And I didn't believe it. But uh, it's a terrific nut oil up there with almond. It's antioxidant, super replenishing. Um, this is a single note product like the Bakuchiol Booster and the Good Molecules Rosehip Seed Oil. It contains only argan oil. It's only $28, I believe. Um, but it's just, it's a terrific source. Our argan, argan oil derived from the nuts is a terrific source of fatty acids, um, linoleic acid, oleic acid, like just really, really good nutrients for the skin. Um, just good stuff. And again, Mamuna was named after the founder's grandmother. Her name is Lala Mamuna. I love that. And when they reached out to me several months ago to, to uh, collaborate with them, I was more than happy to. The brand has a real heart, a real soul, and uh, you should check them out. I'll, as always, drop the links in the comment part of uh, the YouTube video. And I will also be sure to add the links um, on my blog article at SkinKarma.com. Next up is the one that I love sniffing, which isn't cool. Um, so Kiehl's Cannabis Sativa Seed, you see how greenish this is? It's got about, like I said, I estimate to be about 75% um, of the formula. And the formula has, I want to say, it was like 10, 11, 12 ingredients. There were five ingredients that are components of fragrances, and you see them very often at the bottom of an inky, like uh, linalol, geraniol, um, citronol, all of those are, are essentially fragrant components, um, and they are used in formulas to remove or mask the smell. And so I'm assuming that Kiehl's wanted to mask the smell of the cannabis sativa or hemp because it's very uh um i don't know it's herbaceous it's, it's a is it medicinal it's just a really pungent um odor and so i would imagine i can only imagine that that's what they were uh they were thinking when they opted to add in some of those fragrant components there's also some pepper peppermint in here which i don't love um and ger geranium extract 
in addition to sunflower. I think vitamin, vitamin E was the number two ingredient. So the fragrant components are much further down the list. Um, this is $49, if I remember correctly. Matter of fact, this is the one I want to put on my skin right now. So I completed my entire skincare routine oh, um, for the day. And I'm not going out anymore, so I don't need to apply sunscreen. It's always like kind of weird to me to apply a facial oil along with sunscreen. I guess I, I, I mean, I, I just don't know where I would where I would apply them. I don't want to apply it after the sunscreen. I don't necessarily want to apply it before the sunscreen. So I kind of save my facial oils for uh, nighttime. Look at that. Uh, it smells so good. It's so super nourishing. It's a really, really terrific product. Again, it has its flaws, but I get it. And then lastly, I saved the best for last. Just in, in, in terms of the formula, this product is as, as close to perfect, do I declare it perfect, as you could possibly get. Um, it's clean, it's non-toxic. I'm gonna sneeze for some reason. It's clean, it's non-toxic. It's all natural, organic. Interestingly, the number one ingredient in this product is rosehip seed oil. You see the theme? Um, it's, a, it's just exquisite. You can feel the difference. It feels super luxurious. Um, they just did an incredible job with it. It smells, it smells botanical. It doesn't smell herbaceous, it smells botanical. I guess to me, botanical smells a little bit more floral or a little bit sweeter which is probably completely crazy. There is, I doubt, any difference between herbaceous and botanical when it comes to smells. Um, this product also has a few other really super beneficial ingredients in it, um, including uh, kiwi seed. Uh, it has, so again, to start, it has rosehip seed oil, it has kiwi seed, it has prickly pear. Um, prickly pear, similar to sea buckthorn, and rosehip has a multitude of anti-aging benefits for the skin. Really terrific. There's also almond oil in here, which is like Oregon, a nut oil. Um, really high in antioxidants and phenols and all of that good stuff and vitamins. Um, this one is the most expensive of all of the oils. Interestingly, both of these clean oils. These are the two clean brands. Um, this one's 88, this one's 90. Um, so if you're looking for something really well formulated, that's 100% non-toxic, clean, organic, all natural, um, those two uh, would be your options. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, I'm excited to do this blog. Again, I've been dreaming about it forever. And uh, be sure to check out uh, my uh, full blog article at skinchroma.com. And I will catch you later. Ciao.